it's Caitlin. So today I have a really, really quick video for you, but I really enjoyed putting this together, so I thought I'd share it with you. Most of you know if you watch my videos that kind of my other hobby is crafting in general. I love um, playing with paper and fabric, and I just love the feeling when you make something by yourself, and it turns out so good, and you're like, I made that. <laughs> um, so on my room tour, you guys saw even little stuff in, um, throughout the house, like how I put the ribbons in my curtains, and I put the little jewel, um, the little beads on top of the nail heads on my jewelry wall, just little stuff like that that really adds just such personality. Um, I just think it's so fun. But anyway, so today I want to show you what I call kind of my flash fashion slam book. If you guys have seen Mean Girls, you know that slam book that goes around. Um, and I kind of mixed the idea with that and with if you've ever in um, either middle school or high school where you've done a project where you had to, um, it was called like a magazine collage or something, and you had to get magazine clip outs and put it on a paper um, and make a collage and then present that as your project. I kind of combined those two ideas and created what I call, um, like I said, my fashion slam book. And this is what it looks like. I actually didn't design this. When I very, very first started getting into scrapbooking, I it was in eighth grade, and I wanted to make my best friend, I wanted to make her something for her birthday. I didn't really want to buy her anything. Um, and I watched my neighbor's little girl, I babysat her. And when I very first went over to her house to babysit, I went into the parents' bedroom because she was kind of giving me a tour of the house and telling me how things were run in the household to watch her child. And she had an added-on room to the, her bedroom full of scrapbooking stuff. And I was just in complete awe and I fell in love instantly. And it was at that point that she made me um, this journal. She made this for me before my 8th grade trip to Europe. Um, because she um, knew I loved scrapbooking, I loved, I would constantly go over there and she helped me put my very first scrapbook together for my friend for her birthday and just ever since then I've just been in complete love. So she made both of these for me. She made this one for me for my 8th grade trip to Europe and then she made this one for me for my high school graduation. And this one is my journal. Um, I have had this like I said since eighth grade and I still have a couple pages left um, so this is kind of like you know um, so what am I I'm gonna be a junior in college so I've had this for almost four years or um, I'm sorry eight years so this is kind of like um, not eight years it would have been when did I do my first entry in here I did my first entry in here on June 4th, 2006. I'm sorry guys, I'm like horrible at math. <laughs> I did my first entry on June 4th, 2006. So that would mean that, that I've had this for six years. Um, so that it's just really, really special to me and I really, really enjoy it. Um, so she made me this one, like I said, for my high school graduation. So in this one, I put what my kind of like my fashion inspiration and just wanted to share it with you guys. It's really fun for me to put these things together. Um, I have a really fun time looking through not only fashion magazines, as you'll see on these first couple pages, but I also, like I said, love scrapbooking. So I have a whole collection of scrapbook magazines. And one thing that I really liked in the scrapbook magazines and that kind of started me on this album in the first place was that in every issue that I'd get, um, they would have these color palettes that you could use for that month for your scrapbook pages. And I was looking at these color palettes thinking, you know, these would be great color palettes for clothing or even, um, you know, for home decor or anything. These are just beautiful color palettes for the months that they are under. So I started cutting those out and collecting them and I started putting them in this book. So if you go through, I mean, I just have all kinds of color um, things according to the month. And like I said, I got these out of a scrapbook album. And I didn't, I don't have July, August, September yet. But here's some October ones. Like, so when you're, when it's October and you're kind of, um, in a fashion rut, this is kind of a cool, almost jumpstart idea, um, to go through your closet and pull these colors and create an outfit. Um, so there's that. And then I have some 
like hair styles and hair fun hair stuff that I like to do and then this is where I get into um, my fashion things and I did a video a while back showing you my closet organization and I told you guys that I what I did originally that I got the idea from Nikki Philippi was to put it up on a bulletin board and that way you could really see and that's how I developed my sense of style so then I took that and then put it in book form um, just so I can keep expanding it because there's only so much room you have on a bulletin board but in a book you just have pages upon pages that you can continually add to and build your style and build um, build your fashion book so I think it's kind of fun so it's not full yet um, but these are just you know so some things I like just the color schemes this is very a very spring and summer page I love the lace um, you know just things that really inspire me and that I like and I, I find interesting when it, in magazines and maybe things I want to recreate I love this polka dot skirt which is this t-shirt I just thought that was um, such a cute idea and I find that sometimes when I wake up and I'm getting ready I just have no no idea what to wear and I have a closet full of clothes and I'm just stuck so sometimes I'll just pull this out I get great layout inspiration or layout I'm sorry um, outfit inspiration from it you guys know my fashion idol is Lauren Conrad so um, I have her spread they did with People magazine and I absolutely love that so I love to pull this out and recreate her looks um, like I said just I mean just anything that inspires you I love and even this one I didn't really love the dress so much but I love the colors so anyway um, that really is it I just really want I just wanted to share this with you guys like, like I said this is a quick video I just think it's so fun it's easy to do all you do um, for the book itself I, like I said I didn't make it but I know how she did it well, she just went to, um, you know, any um, drugstore and got the, the black and white composition notebooks and just covered it with scrapbook paper. Um, and you can do that on the front and back. And it just makes it so fun, so personalized. You can give these as gifts if you have somebody whose birthday is coming up and you know they're a writer or, um, you know, even who wa they want to be a fashion um what is the word I'm looking for? Like a fashion guru or, or going into fashion and like like a sketchbook. You can customize this for them and this is just such a fun gift and I absolutely love mine. I've used both of the books that she's given me and I love them. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you found some inspiration and enjoyed it. I would love, if you guys decide to make these books, I would love to see them. Please leave them. Um, in a video response or um, can you put pictures on YouTube? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I don't have a Facebook page or anything for this YouTube channel. Um, I'll have to think about how to do that because I would love to see pictures but anyway I will talk to you guys later. Bye!